So now we're going to put the case half over crankshaft. And we'll get it on as far as it'll go. Seems like it should go on a little farther than that, but maybe not. Okay. And we're going to have to attach our crankshaft puller. So we'll just let, the, let that sit there a minute. And well, how you do that is you take this crankshaft puller. I got it from Rocky Mountain ATV and Motorcycle. And uh, it's not cheap. Uh, you probably heard Randy say that, DO Speed Demon. And we're going to twist on the appropriate fitting on the end of the crankshaft. Oops. Sorry, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is put the adapter on first. Then we're going to twist the appropriate end onto the crankshaft. Okay. Then we're going to bring the rest of the crank puller up to it and over the adapter and bring the collar. I don't know if you can see that too good. The end on, got the adapter that slides over. And we're going to bring that up and we're going to screw that into the actual pulling shaft. Okay. And we're going to take off this nut. Slide the housing over. This looks like it's going to mate very well to the surface that I need to push against, so we won't use, need to use any flat stock or any adjustments to pull. Looks like it'll fit right up to the case. Now we're going to tighten the nut up, nut up against the back of the pulling housing until it's just snug. We're going to check it for straightness, tightness. Make sure it's absolutely straight. Wiggle it around a little bit if you have to. Okay, and we're ready to start pulling them together. Now we'll line them up, make sure that everything's in line the way it's supposed to stay. There we go. And now we are going to take a wrench. I'm going to be using a common knuckle buster. I believe this nut is a one inch nut, so if you want to use a socket, that would be better if you have a deep well. I don't have a deep well right now, so you know, one inch. So I'm using a knuckle buster. Okay, so we're going to start tightening down the nut, which drives the housing against the case half, essentially pulling the, drive, the crankshaft through the crankshaft bearing. And you can see that the case halves are getting close to contacting the centering dowels. So we're going to want to make sure that they line up nice and straight wiggle them there a little bit, you know that you're on the dowels good. Continue to pull it in and you can see it coming in. Check that those dowels are still moving freely so that it's all lined up good. And continue to pull. Now the housing started to spin on my mating surface uh, behind the stator so I went ahead and grabbed a hold of the housing because I don't want it to spin around and mar up the 